In the beginning. How did we get over here? Who created us? What is the story of creation? Why we are here on earth? Where did we come from? Who created our body and soul? What is the purpose of life? What are the eight days of creation? Where do we go after here? As you have noticed, there are hundreds of ideas about where we came from. So, what is the reason behind that? It is because people and so many even scientists are only using their own limited brains with so many conjectures without any proofs. Just imagine if there is some kind of vessel came down from the sky which was built with materials never existed on earth and we have never known those materials or we have never seen it in our life and now we are trying to turn it on and make it fly that would only be impossible but if we find the one who built that vessel then he could tell us the story of creation of that vessel i am trying to say that if we want to know why we are here we must only and only ask the creator of these universes, and everything between them. Isn't it the most logical way possible? We have been listening to the conjectures of all kinds of people, without any proofs, for years and years. We have only one creator, but we came up with nearly 4200 different religions. Do you think our creator, who created everything in perfect balance, has sent his prophets, with different messages, to different corners of the world, in order for us to have dispute with one another, and to kill each other in the name of religion? Then, that would make our Creator a wicked Creator. Therefore, something is wrong, that is why you have all the rights to deny and reject all of these existing religions. Then, what are the true words of our Creator? Where is the untouched message of the Almighty Creator? What is the true religion of our Creator? Now, the only information that we have is from our Creator, which has been written in those scriptures of the major scriptures in the world. We have now four widely influential documents the Torah, or the Old Testament, and Psalm, and the Bible, or the New Testament, and the Arabic Quran, the Final Testament. The reason our Creator has been sending these books, every once in a while, is because, he wants to help humans according to the time and place of history. And they are all continuation of the covenant of our creator with humans in order for us to live happy in this life, and in the life, in the hereafter. And one must study all of them, in order to find the truth, because, according to the time and place, in history, his laws would change for the benefit of humans. I have been studying all of those scriptures, throughout my life. Because, I was always looking for the truth about our existence. Then, I have found out, that these books, have been distorted, translated, and copied repeatedly, so many times throughout the history. At first by hand, until they have finally came into our hands, through computers. Therefore, I had to find out, which one is closer, to the truth, or untouched. Throughout the years, we have been following the religious leaders, thinking that they know about our creator's religion. The reason is, humans have a tendency, to follow the crowd. You must have seen, in news media, the stampede of people, on Black Fridays, or any sudden reaction, in a crowd. We react just like herd of cattle. They say we follow like sheep, but, sheep, are, one step ahead of us, because they have sheep dogs, who are directing them. They use this weakness of human trait, in revolutions, religions, politics, advertisings, news media, and so on. That is why, majority of the people in any nation, are called, the average people. And what is with those special outfits that so called religious people, are wearing? who designed those uniforms for them. One could recognize the name of their religion, just by looking at them, you can hardly find individuals, who have been researching, on religion. Yet, we study so many different books, for, so many years, in order, to get some degrees, 
so we could feed ourselves, as those scriptures informing us, the Almighty guarantees happiness, in this life, and the life after here. Do you know why? Because, the fact of the matter is, that, we have been created weak. We are not able to know the future, and we cannot control all of the people. Therefore, we are not able to make ourselves, happy. The most logical way possible, is, to put aside whatever you have heard about religion, and those, so-called, religious leaders, then, get rid of those fake scriptures, meaning, those translations, and try to discover the true religion of our Creator, by yourself. Translations are just conjectures of some people's mind, without any proven facts. And then, they say, this is from our Creator. Just for gaining fame, and some cheap prices. We are all have been witnessing, that how, media, and those illiterate preachers, have been raping the hearts, and the souls of the people, all throughout the world, for just a few dollars. Let us look at some of these most important so called religions, and, their, scriptures. Now, what you about to hear might come as a shocking news to you, so you better sit down. Believe me, you will find out, why you hate religion so much. But, at the same time, I know, that, many people would not like to hear the truth, because, they have been brainwashed, by those religionists. Now, one of those scriptures is called, the Torah, or the Old Testament, was revealed through Prophet Moses, in Hebrew language, when he was summoned by our Creator for forty nights, while Torah was being written, during those forty nights. Then later on, from that fully detailed scripture, containing the light, from our Creator, they picked only ten verses, and called it, Ten Commandments, and they forgot about the rest of those knowledge. And they turned the religion of the Almighty, into, traditions, and customs. And because it is the oldest scripture, therefore, it was distorted much more than the others. As you might have heard, few years back, they found, the Dead Sea Scrolls, in some caves around the Dead Sea, areas, in Jordan, in 1947. After deciphering them, they found out that it is different with the Torah that we have today. Therefore, they put it aside because, it would disturb the religious leaders. And that would make them stop taking your money. Then, around 1930s, a man named Menachem Begin, kicked out, Palestinians, out of their land, by terrorizing, and bombing in different places in Palestine. And occupied, their land, and called it, as, Israel. In order to mislead people, that, they are, the children of Israel, or, in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Arabic language, is called, Bani, Isra, Eel, as we read in those scriptures. This man was the initiator of terrorism, in our recent century. Read what he said. Yet, none of other countries in the Middle East, could say anything, or do anything, because, they were all controlled by dictators, whom they were assigned by the first world countries. That was how, ever since few years ago, they have made 57 different countries, hate them, and that was how, they started all of those conflicts around the world. Then, later on, after the advent of the computer and internet, those other Middle Eastern countries learned a lesson from Menachem Begin, and continued the system of his terrorism, and bombing, which he created. First, by Ben Laden, then other terrorist groups, and ISIS. Up to now. That is how people bring disasters upon themselves. This is another reason that people hate religions. You must know, that, you would find this phrase of, Bani, Esra, Eel, in all of those three scriptures. And the Almighty commanded all of the humans, to follow, from the covenant, which he made, with Bani, Esra, Eel. Now, if you look at this phrase, in Hebrew, Aramaic and Arabic language, you would find out, that the word, Bani, means, the sons, or descendants, and Esra, means, moved, or transported, and, Eel, means, the all-powerful, the almighty creator. 
therefore, Bani, Esra'el, means, the sons who would be transported by the All-Powerful. And, the Almighty Creator, made a covenant with humans, starting from the time of Prophet, Adam, to the end of the world. That was why, he has been sending us those scriptures, which they are, repetition, and contained some changes of his covenants, throughout the history of human beings, for our benefits, according to the time and places. And we were supposed to follow from each one of them. Because, they have been sent, to the descendants, who would be transported by the Almighty. From the beginning of the history, of man on earth, until the end of this world. We have this word, Eel, at the end of some names, like, Isma, Eel, which means, the Almighty, has heard. Or, the name, Angel, Jebra, Eel, which means, the Almighty's enforcer. Or, you should know, that, those three languages, were the most spoken languages at that time, and they were very close to each other. Therefore, people would understand each other. Like today's, Spanish language, and Italian language. You must know, that, the name of our Creator, has been written in all of those scriptures, as, Ella, or, Il, or, Ella, and, Al, Ella, meaning, there, Ella. Which means Allah. So called Judaism, has seven names, for our Creator. Here are some of them. El. Oriel. Eloah. Elohim. Elohai. As you notice, they are all very close to Allah. That was why, so called Jews, committed the most horrendous crime, in history, by taking off, the name of our Creator, from Torah. And they call him, Yehovah. This phrase, in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Arabic language, means, Oh, he, is. And, they named, their fake religion, as Judaism, or Jews, without any proofs, and you cannot find this name, in the original scripture, in Hebrew language. The Aramaic word for the Almighty Creator, in the language of Assyrian Christians is, Elaha, or Elaha. Means, O Lord, and, O, Allah. The same in Arabic language. Arabic speakers, of all the Abrahamic, faiths, including Christians and Jews, use the word Allah, which is the name of our Creator. The Christian Arabs, of today, have no other word for our Creator, than, Allah. As you see, they are all calling our Creator as, Allah, or, Allah. Some with a bit of accent. Arabic speaking Christians and Jews, use the word, Allah, for, our Creator. Yet, around 300 years ago, we learned from Germans, to call our Creator, as, God, in USA, or in any other English speaking countries. Mostly because of being prejudiced against the Arabic language or, for that matter, the Muslims. That is why, they don't want to use the word, Allah. Here is another reason, that people hate religions. No one can translate the names of other people, especially the name of our Creator, who created us from ejected semen. Yet, we have made up about fifty different names, for Allah, in different nations around the world. Do you think, if you go from here, to the moon, your name, would translate, to something else? Please look at these pictures carefully. None of these duties have been written in the Torah. But, through the years, those religious leaders, added fake verses to their scripture. And they made up two books, written by their own hands, and they called them, Jewish Mishnah, and Gemara. Meaning, what Moses said, and what Moses did. As you notice, so called, Jews, are not following from the covenant of our Creator, instead, they only follow from the rules of Moses, which was written many years, after Moses' departure by the hands of those, rabbis. No, wonder, at the end, Moses, and his brother left their followers. That means, they were the only two believers, at the end. Although, the Almighty saved their followers, from Pharaoh, and his soldiers, and they have witnessed, 
all of those nine miracles, of the Almighty Creator. This is the characteristic of human beings. There are, so many, Torahs, with different versions. Then, they call themselves, as, Yehudians, and then, later on, they changed it to, Judeans, because, they related themselves, to Judah. You see how, we made up names for the only religion of the Almighty Creator, throughout the years. That was how, little by little, people have found out about these fake religions, and started to hate them. That was how, they have distorted the true religion of the Almighty Creator, completely, and they started worshipping, Moses, besides our Creator, by following from traditions, which, they wrote them, with their own hands, in those fake books. That is why, those average people, love to hear about those traditions, instead of words of our Creator. And they put aside, those covenants of our Creator, completely, and instead they followed from those made up traditions. That is why, people hate religions. Then, they divided themselves in three different sects. And each sect divided into many more branches. And they are all fake, and man-made, and they were never, ever, authorized by the Almighty Creator. Now, look at these leaders of our today's world. Did these leaders, ever thought, to ask, that, why, they must put on, that hat, and, touch that stone, and talk to, and pray to, some rocks? Yet, we think, that, these people are the smartest of all, amongst us. This is unbelievable. Isn't it? This is, what you might call, as, worshipping idols and stones. In a way, these leaders want you to be busy with your own conjectures, and made up religions, so they could do their job easier. Then, through the years so called religious leaders, came up, with some names, of saints. And people, ask these so called, saints, for health, and happiness, and so on. That is called idol worship, and it is, the only unforgivable sin, in all of those religions. You see, these are, the fabrications of our religious leaders, throughout the history. All because, they want to build a synagogue, and take away your money, and mislead you. Yet, these same leaders, were the ones, who took the name of Allah, from the Torah, and they left the Torah, the words of Allah, behind them, for the words of Moses. Who cares, what those prophets and messengers said, or did? We want to know, what our Creator says, about the laws of our land, in his scriptures. Then, there is, another scripture, called, the Bible, or, the New Testament. First of all, the word, Bible, is fake, and a man-made name. They took this name from a place called, Biblos, now is called, Lebanon. Also when they translate it in Greek language, they called it, Biblos, meaning, book. That is why, only in USA alone, we have 167 different churches. And each one follows from different rules and regulations. And even they divided themselves into many more sects. But, the original name for so called, Bible, in the Arabic Quran, written, as, Njil. The root word for Njil, in the Arabic language, is, Na, La, meaning, manifestations of radiance. And the Almighty Creator says, that, all of his scriptures contain, the light. Therefore, the meaning of Angel would be the light. Angel would be the light, these are imaginary portrait of so called Jesus. The name, Jesus, is a fake, and, a man made name. Yet, in the original language of Angel, in Aramaic language, he is called, Esos. And in the Arabic Quran, he is called, as, Esau, son of Mayam. And not son of God. And in South America, you would find many men, called, Esau. And that is the true name of son of Virgin Mayam. And he could talk when he was in his crib, also, when he grew up. The Holy Spirit was always with him, and helping him talk, 
and tell him the verses in Angeal, which was revealing to him, but there is no written book, by him. Yet, people used to memorize those verses, in their hearts. But, through the years, those preachers have added, and distorted, so many verses, in order to take away your money. Away your money, then, around two hundred years, after departure of Esau son of Mayam, people wrote the Angeal down, with their own hands, and said, that, it was inspired to us. But, actually they wrote it down as they remembered, what they used to memorize in the past. That is why, there is no information about the Angeal, in history, for two hundred years, after departure of Esau, son of Mayam. At the time of Esau, son of Mayam, his followers called themselves as, Nazrani. And they chose, this name, as the name of their fake religion. You must know, that, in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Arabic language, Nazrani, means, the helpers. Then, later on, when they translated Engil, in Greek language, they came up with another fake name, for their religion, and call themselves, Christians. The same way the word, Christ, was originated. And you would never find these names in any of those old scriptures. You must know, that, Allah never called, the name, Christian, as the name of a religion. Yet, in the Arabic Quran, Allah said, the ones, who called, themselves, as, Nazrani, or helpers. That means, Allah, never called them, as a, religion, yet they themselves call themselves as the helpers. Helpers. Then, they claimed, that, they crucified, that, fake name, Jesus. Yet, he was never crucified, but, it only appeared to some people at that time. As you know, they say, that, Allah, is the loving creator. Then, why in the world he should crucify his beloved servant? The Almighty's law is against killing. Yet, they even make medallion cross pendants, and wear them, as jewelries. Make sure take off any kinds of medallions, which has to do with religions. Because, those are all signs of idol worship. Here are some saints, that they worship, and ask them for health, and happiness. Total idol worship. As you see, only the average people, follow, from illiterate preachers. Who are only after their money, in order to buy, the newest, mansions, and, airplanes. Do you know why, they are so rich? Here is the answer. In all of those scriptures, the Almighty says, one must pay 10%, charity, whenever they receive money. One must sacrifice 10% of their money in the cause of our Creator, to our needy parents, needy relatives, fatherless children, and homeless people, and so on. But, here is the crime that they have committed. Through the years, those religious leaders, changed those verses. They changed the word, Almighty Creator, to, Church. The actual verse, said, you have to sacrifice 10%, or, pay 10% charity in the cause of our Creator. But, they changed it to, Church. Instead of, needy family, relatives, fatherless children, poor people, and homeless people. That is why, we have so many homeless people around. That is why these preachers are so rich, and that is why, we see those, fancy, churches, synagogues, and mosques all around the world. These are charities that your needy parents, needy relatives, fatherless children, and homeless people, did, not, get. Therefore, those of you who go to these places and suffering from unhappiness, and disasters, and have problems, here is one of the reason. That is why, people hate religions. I am sure, you have seen these preachers on media. That is why, after listening to them, majority of the people become, atheist, and they start hating, religions. Which I do not blame them at all. And they say, that, Jesus shed his blood in order to save people. Yet, policemen, shedding their blood, every single day, in order for us to be safe. Then, why no one worship them? Also, 
Through the years they came up with so many satanic phrases, like, belief in God the Father. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dividing our Creator into three Creators. And they are praising our Creator, with music, and dancing. The other phrase that they came up with, is, that, they all say, you have to respect other religions. Why? Because, they know that they are all misleading people, therefore, they do not want to bother each other's business. Can you believe that? They are all want you to blunder, in their made up beliefs. And they say, do not judge amongst the people. Yet, the Almighty sent us these scriptures, in order for us to judge among the people. That is one of the main purpose of sending these books. Otherwise, we are not able to make laws for ourselves. Just look what they have done, with the US, Constitution. Although most of them were written on the basis of Arabic Quran. The preachers, are only care about how to, rip you off, that is why, in so called Bible Belt area, in USA, people are getting hit by more than a 1000 tornadoes every single year, plus floods, fires, hurricanes, church shootings, and church burnings and so on. There is nothing wrong with music, which the Almighty inspired all of those beautiful classical music, to Beethoven, Mozart, and others, without going to school, because, the Almighty, is the one, who drops, art, science, and discoveries to humans. And those beautiful melodies which he inspired to Beatles, and Pink Floyd, but, those places of worship, are called, Masjid, which in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Arabic language means, the places, of falling in prostration, instead of singing and dancing. And they have came up with many rituals, as you see in these pictures. You can never find these rituals in the Angeal, or any other scripture. Please, look at them carefully. Then, they divided themselves into so many different sects. And each sect divided into many more branches. And they are all fake and man-made, and they were never, ever, authorized, by the Almighty Creator. Around 1000 years ago, they estimated, that, there, were, 10,000 saints in so-called Christianity. Just imagine, how many more saints, we have now, after 2000 years. I know many people do not like to hear these facts, but these are the truth behind these professional religionists. They have learned these tricks from their own parents. Just watch them, on TV, they are all confessing to this fact. That is why, I do not blame you, for hating, these 4200 fake, and false religions. And each of these so called religions, branched out themselves, to hundreds of different religions. The other scripture, or the final testament, is, the Arabic Quran. In this book, Allah says, that, Prophet Muhammad's soul, but, not the physical body, was, summoned to the high heaven, with the help of angels and the Holy Spirit, while his empty body was sleeping inside the Kaaba. Up there, he met Allah, and the Almighty downloaded the whole Arabic Quran into his heart, while he was looking at the Almighty Allah, and his kingdom in the high heaven. That is why, Allah calls it, the night of power which is the name of chapter 97, in the Arabic Quran, then, he was brought back down to earth, at, dawn. And then, according to the time and places in history, the Holy Spirit was getting those verses of the Arabic Quran, from Muhammad's heart, and sending them to his memory, and Muhammad was writing them down, with his own right hand, in a period of 23 years. Then, through the years, People distorted the only religion of Allah and came up with this fake and man made religion called Islam and Muslims. The word Islam and Muslim is not a name, yet it is a description, meaning submission and surrender. If you ask any so called Muslim that what does Islam mean and what do you submit to, they have no answer for you and they do not know. 
because, they just do not read the Quran. They think, Islam is a name. Because, they just follow from those illiterate mullahs, blindly. The ones who are suffering from illiteracy, they found only one verse in the Quran, and they tell you, that, Allah says, the only religions, at Allah, is, Islam. The reason is, that, they are banded to read, and, understand the Arabic Quran. Right there, show them these 42 verses. And ask them, did you read these verses, in the Quran? I must tell you, that, the Arabic Quran, is like, a one long sentence. Yet, from those, 2698 verses in the Quran, so called Muslims, only take one verse, out of context of the Quran. Right after Prophet Muhammad's departure, the committee, of scribes, added two false verses, to the end of chapter, 113, of the Arabic Quran, in the order revelations, revealed to Prophet Muhammad, in order to praise, their Prophet. And now, in the order revelations, after Muhammad, those two satanic verses, are at the end of chapter 9, of the Quran, verses 128, and 129. Then, Muhammad's contemporaries, rejected, those injections, of those two false verses, in the Arabic Quran, revealed by Allah. Therefore, the enemies of Allah, and his messenger, massacred all of those followers of Prophet Muhammad, whom, they were the only true believers, and they burned the original Quran, which was written, by Muhammad's right hand, in order to stop, the dispute among the people, at that time. That was how, they have deprived themselves, from the original Arabic Quran, right after Muhammad's departure. Then, they took copies of the Quran, with those two false verses, to those neighboring countries, by the force of sword. Then, after some two hundred years, after Muhammad's departure, they changed the original name of Allah's religion, and they called themselves as, Muslims. Instead of submitting to the covenant of Bani, Ezra, Eel, and now we have more than one hundred different sects of so-called Muslims, all around the world. That is why, this is another fake, and false religion, which was made up, throughout, the history. That is why, millions of people all around the world, hate religions. Then again, about 250 years after Prophet Muhammad, the enemies of Allah and his messenger, they came up with three man-made books, beside the book of Allah. Allah is the knower, of the future, that is why, he already wrote in the Arabic Quran, that, these people will come up, with these satanic books, besides the Almighty's book, and he says, that, these books, were written, by human devil. They are called, Hadith, Sunnah, and Sharia law. Meaning, what Muhammad did, and what Muhammad said. Just like what they wrote after Moses and Esau son of Maryam. That was how they have learned from each other, through the history. In a way, so called, Muslims, are saying, that, the Arabic Quran, is, not, enough, for them. Yet, Allah says, that, the Arabic Quran, is complete, and a fully detailed, book. Book, these people follow from traditions as well. Please look at these pictures carefully. None of these rituals written in the Arabic Quran. These are all fake, and man-made rituals, and they have never, ever, authorized by Allah. Yet, people all around the world, think, that, so-called Muslims, are, following from the Quran. But, they have stopped reading the Arabic Quran, long time ago, and instead, they are all following from three books written by human devil. Just like those books of, what Moses said and did, and what Esau said and did, look here, they worship dead saints, and they ask them for health, and happiness. There are eight thousand shrines, only in Iran. And there are many more, in other so called, Muslim countries. As you see in these pictures, they come up with, a, name, and call him saint, then they build a room, with a shrine, in the middle, 
and the average people, go and touch that shrine, and pray to that dead person, and ask him for whatever they wish, and then, they threw money into those shrines. In order their prayers would be answered. Sometimes you would find some American dollars, as well. Then the religious leaders enjoy their life, with those money. Just like those churches, synagogues, and those mosques, all around the world. Yet, this is the only unforgivable sin. This is a very good business for making money, to the point, that, recently they are making mobile shrines, so they can reach farther villages, in order, to rip off people. As you see, these religionists, are all over the world, and they are only after your money. This is how these idol worshipping people, have brought the curse of the Almighty Creator upon themselves. Here is another idol worshipping act by so called Muslims. Do you see all of these foods? These are all forbidden by Allah. These people cook foods, and they write the name of their dead saint on top of it with cinnamon powder and dedicate them to some dead saints who lived 1300 years ago in order to answer their prayers. Allah says, that, any food, dedicated to other than Allah, is, haram, or, forbidden. The reason is that, they have been forbidden to read the Quran. Here is another reason, that, people hate religions, that is why, so called Muslims, are the most unhappiest people on earth. They are killing each other every single day, or being bombed, or droned, and the rest of them, are running around the world, as refugees and no one wants them, and they have brought the most ugliest name, upon themselves, as, being terrorists, you would not find a single mosques in the world, whom they would worship, only, Allah alone. Nor you would find any synagogue nor a church. One of those many made up customs, is, temporary marriages. They call it, Sige. There are offices in Iran, which, a man, takes his girlfriend in those offices, and they sign some papers, that, they want to get married from three minutes, and up. And they issue, for them, certificates of temporary marriage. Can you believe that? These advertisings are saying, Sige, is the sweetest destiny, for Muslim women. The other one says, there is no medicine, like Sige, which can cure, aphrodisiac, and sexual lust. Now, these are the words, which came out, of the mouth of those religious leaders, who have been covering women, from head to toe. This was an old custom that so-called Shia Muslims used to practice. But, recently made it official. This is how they came up with this law, recently. Yet, Allah wants men to support women, and be the bread earner, and have children. They have learned from those first world nations, that, in order, a government, could survive, they need to control the media, and let people have the freedom of all kinds of sex, and drugs and alcohols. And recently they added music as well. That is how, when people could release their frustrations from government, through sex, drugs, and music. Therefore, they would stop bothering the politicians. That is why, you do not see, any more, mass demonstrations against the government, in Iran. People all around the world, think, that, so-called Muslims read the Quran. And these pictures are the samples of what has been written in the Arabic Quran. I have a good news for you. You would not find any of these rituals in the Arabic Quran, yet these are all made up by religious leaders, in order to control people, and take away their money. Just ask them, how many times have you read the Quran? They will tell you, that, we only practice Hadith, Sunnah, and, Sharia law, and we only listen to our, Mullahs. That means, the Book of Allah, is not good enough for them. As you notice, they are practicing, pure, idol worship, just like other fake religions. Throughout the past 1450 years, the Arabic Quran was distorted as well, just like other scriptures. To the point that right now, 
there are 50 different Korans being printed all over the world. Each one has a different chapter numbers, verse numbers, and each with different spellings, as we have learned by practicing all of these fake and man made religions, plus the rest of the world who are turning away from our Creator, therefore, we have been disturbing the balance of the Almighty's system. And as the consequence, we have brought so many disasters upon ourselves. As you can see some of them in these pictures. If you are unhappy, unhealthy, and poor, it is not because of government, or politicians, or corruptions in societies, or racism, or processed foods, or foods sprayed with chemical poisons, or pollution, or global warming, and so on. Yet, it is all because you have turned away from our Creator, who created you, from ejected semen. Therefore, we have no protections anymore, because we have brought these disasters upon ourselves, with our own actions. That is why all the other creatures of Allah, are happy, and being, provided. Why, is that? Because, they never disturb the balance. Sun and the moon, never revolt. Trees and animals never demonstrate. Yet, they are all submitters to the rules of our Creator. Except, arrogant human beings. The whole world is in disasters, because of denying the Almighty Creator. Do not let media, rape your heart, and soul. Media does not want you to know the truth, because it has been controlled by negative forces. The best is get out of these religious places, and do not listen to media, which does not want to talk about our Creator, and start asking the Almighty, to teach you His religion, and His covenant. Because, He is the only teacher of His scriptures. Happiness, is submission to Allah alone. Now, let me tell you, the awesome news, about the Arabic Quran. You must know that the reason the Almighty has been sending these scriptures to us, is because, He wants to take us out of the darkness, to His light. And darkness is what we have been following from our own conjectures, and egos, without any bases and proofs. As the Almighty Creator never leaves His servants, to be in darkness. Around forty some years ago, I found out that someone wrote the whole Quran, into those mainframe computers, in order to analyze those mysterious initials, in those 29 chapters of the Quran. Let me first tell you, that, the Arabic Quran, does, not, have, anything, to do, with so called Muslims, or, Islam, although, they claim it. Yet, the Arabic Quran came down for all the people on earth, and it is the final scripture from our Creator. And it is the continuation, of the covenant of Allah, with descendants of, Bani Israel. It contains, the completion of Allah's message to the whole world. Now, the Arabic Quran comes in 114 chapters, and 29 of these chapters, starts with sets of letters, or, initials. No one knew the meaning or purpose of these initials for 1400 years. These initials consists of one to five letters, such as, ALM, ALR, Q, S, K H Y A S, and, N, and so on. And they are made up of, 14 Arabic alphabets, also they are in 14 different sets of initials. And Allah says, we have given you, seven pairs meaning, two times seven, and, the mighty, Quran. In chapter 74, hidden secret, from verses 29 to 35, Allah says, on the billboards, or screens, or posters, or chapters, for mankind. Over it, is, 19. Then after that, we read, absolutely, by the moon, and the night as it passes and the morning as it shines. This is one of the great ones, in chapter 74, named, Hidden Secret, Allah simply is telling us, what, that secret was. He is saying, that, the whole Arabic Quran, is mathematically composed, by the number 19. That means, those initials, 
in those 29 tablets, or chapters, are on the basis of, number 19. Around 45 years ago, the Almighty Creator, inspired an American scientist, a biochemist, Dr. Rashad Khalifa, to feed the whole Arabic Quran into those old mainframe computers, in order to analyze those mysterious initials, in the Arabic Quran. Sure enough, after four years of hard work, computer printout showed, that, repetition of those initials, in their respected, chapters, are divisible by the number 19, as the Almighty says, at the right time, we will produce for them, a creature, made of earthly materials, declaring, that, the people, are not certain about our revelations. Chapter 27, verse 82, which adds up to the number 19. And that creature, is, computer. Therefore, computer has spoken. Now, you may know, that, the binary numbers came down, around 2000 years ago. But, it had to wait for our time, when our creator dropped on us, the knowledge of building computers. The reason he gave us that knowledge, mainly was because, he wanted to show us, his mathematical miracles, in his Arabic Quran. As Dr. Khalifa said, the Arabic Quran, is characterized by a unique phenomenon, never found in any human, authored, book. Every element of the Arabic Quran, is mathematically composed. The chapters, the verses, the words, the number of certain letters, the number of words from the same root, the number, and variety of divine names, the unique spelling of certain words, the absence, or, deliberate alteration of certain letters, within certain words, and many other elements of the Quran, besides its content. After Prophet Muhammad, those so-called Muslims, took the copies of the Arabic Quran, including those two false verses, to other neighboring countries, by the force of swords. Then couple of hundred years later, those Middle Eastern countries at the time, they learned, the techniques of writing poetry, from the literary excellence, of the Arabic Quran. Actually, the Arabic Quran, was the cause of, civilization, and cultures, of today's Arab countries, and Middle Eastern countries, especially, Iranians. At first they started to write poems in Arabic language, then later on, when they fully learned the techniques of writing poetry, then, they started to write in their own language. Some of them, had the Arabic Quran, fully memorized. But, instead of studying the Arabic Quran, and understand what Allah is talking about, they only learned how to write poetry. That is why, none of their poems has nothing to do with the Quran. This awesome revelation of the Almighty, purified the Arabic Quran, from many distortions, and now if you add, or take away, only one letter, from the Arabic Quran, it will destroy the whole mathematical miracle, of the Arabic Quran. And now, with the blessing from Allah we have the only corrected Arabic Quran, in the world, on internet, and you may download it, for your own study, for free. You may google some of these words from here, in order to see the corrected Arabic Quran. Then, few years later, the Almighty Creator, sent us another kind of mathematics, called, the ultimate mathematics of the Arabic Quran, which proves the exact locations of each chapter numbers, and their respected verse numbers, and shows how numbers interlock the Arabic Quran from inside. You must know, that, we never had this kind of mathematics on earth before. And it is based on, prime numbers, composite numbers, twin primes, Gaussian primes, and so on. Contrary to the secret code, of the number 19, in the Quran, which you only need basic mathematics, like adding, and dividing, and multiplying, yet, on the ultimate mathematics, you need a college degree, in order to understand it. Like you need at least 16 years of education as the world basic standard for mathematics, in order to understand these awesome mathematics, in the Arabic Quran, revealed by Allah. 
And now we have the only untouched message from our Creator, despite 50 different Arabic Qurans, being printed all over the world, with different chapter numbers, verse numbers, and different spellings. Allah said, He made the Arabic Quran, with His own knowledge. The word Quran, means, the book, that, has to be read. I must tell you, that, at the school, you learn, knowledge. And you can learn extensive knowledge from the Arabic Quran as well. But, there is a hidden knowledge, in the Arabic Quran, called, Hikmah. There is no translation for this word, so, the best is just call it by its name, Hikmah. The root word for this word, is, Hakamah. And it comes with different meanings, like, judgment, or, strength. For example it says, the book, which its verses, have been strengthened. Meaning, the mathematics, which has interlocked, the Quran, from inside. Not many people, will receive, this is special knowledge, from Allah. The only way one could receive it, is, that, he, or, she, must have a pure heart. In Arabic language, Gal Bay, Motaha. As Allah says, whoever has been given, Hikmah, has certainly been given a huge bounty. Now, ask any so-called Muslims, that, what is Hikmah? They have no idea. The Arabic Quran, is impossible to imitate. As Allah says, if all the humans, and Satan, and his descendants, get together, they would not be able to bring, even, one chapter, like the Arabic Quran. Meaning, a chapter, with, excellent literary composition, combined with hidden mathematical composition. Now, as I told you about those two injected verses, at the end of chapter 9. The awesome mathematical miracle in the Quran, proved, that, those two verses, do not belong to the Arabic Quran and there are hundreds of mathematical confirmations available, which proves this fact. I must tell you, that, many Quranic scholars, had a doubt, about those two verses as well, but, they did not have the guts, nor any proofs to take them out of the Arabic Quran. One night, Dr. Khalifa came to the main room of his masjid, and said, that, I just took out those two satanic verses, from the Quran. Sure enough, The next day, Salman Rushdie was on TV, with his satanic verses. That was a big sign from the Almighty Creator. Then, few months after that, on January 31, 1990, so-called Muslim fanatics, affiliated with Bin Laden, assassinated him, at, dawn, in Tucson, Arizona. Dr. Khalifa was Bin Laden's first kill, in USA. Now, we have the scientifically proven scripture, based on mathematics, the exact science. So far, we have 1,500 pages of scientific reports based on Code 19 of the Arabic Quran, and the ultimate mathematics of the Quran. On internet, you may find more than 5 million websites about mathematics of the Quran, plus many videos on YouTube. You may search for, Religion Whistleblower, on YouTube. These tapes contain hikmah, which none of the Quranic scholars, have heard before. When Allah, placed, Adam and his wife, in the heaven, he told them, eat from anything you like, but, do, not, eat, from this tree. Then, later on, finally they have got fooled by Satan's whispering to them, and they ate, from that, forbidden, tree. Then, because they did not listen to Allah, they were all kicked out of the heaven onto the earth. Then, later on, Adam repented to Allah, and asked for his forgiveness. Then, the Almighty gave him words, in order to be forgiven. And those words are the first covenant of Allah with Bani Israel. And those words are now in the first chapter of the Arabic Quran. And all of the followers of the covenant of Allah, with Bani Israel, meaning, those who would be transported by Allah, to the end of the world should commemorate those verses, every day, in order to be redeemed by Allah. Here are the meaning of those words in English, but remember, you should only repeat them in Arabic language. In the name of Allah, the Gracious, the Merciful. Praise be to Allah.
Lord of the Universes, the Gracious, the Merciful, Master of the Day of Judgment. You alone, we worship. You alone, we ask for help. Guide us in the right path, the path of those, whom, you blessed, not of those, who have deserved, rat, nor, of the, stray years. Stray year. These are verses that one must pray every single day, yet people lost this most important covenant of Allah, by following, from, their, own, lust. And so called, Muslims they are doing it all wrong, and they are nullifying their prayers every day, by commemorating, Muhammad. Besides the name of Allah, on their five daily prayers. These duties came from the time of Adam. Prophet David, one of the prophets of Bani Israel, was performing his prayers, seven times a day. That is why, Quran says, perform, more prayers, in order to get, an extra credit. Remember, everything so called Muslims do, is against the Arabic Quran. Or, fasting was changed through the time. Like after revelation of the Quran, in the month of Ramadan, fasting was commanded to be performed, during the whole month of Ramadan. And Allah calls it, the blessed month. And it is only from dawn to night. But, so called Jews and Christians are kept sticking to their own, two thousand years old traditions. Allah says, do not be friend with so called Jews and Christians, they are idol worshippers. So as so called Muslims. That is why, most of the prophets, cursed their followers at the end. That is why, they said, religion is the opium of the societies. But, now, religion is not based on baseless faith anymore, yet, it is the scientific fact. Scientific. Now, do you remember we talked about, 10% charity? Some smart Alec Muslim leader, talked from the seat of his pants, and said, that, charity should be 2.5%. Which you can never ever find it in the Arabic Quran. Therefore, he made people, to cheat Allah, 7.5%. Yet, this was the first covenant of Allah with Bani Israel, at the beginning of history of man on earth. Do you remember those two sons of Adam? They were paying their 10% charity, or, sacrificing 10%, of their wealth, in the cause of Allah. But, it was accepted from one of them, and not from the other one. His brother told him, Allah only accept charity, from the righteous people. And his brother told him, I will kill you. So he did kill his brother. That was the first kill on earth. Also, he was the first unrighteous man on earth. So, we learn, that, after Allah gave us those words of repentance, in chapter 1 of the Quran, as his first covenant with us. Then, the second covenant of Allah, with Bani Israel, was to pay 10% charity. The scripture said, that, we pay charity in the cause of Allah, in order to cleanse our money. You may spend millions of dollars for charity, but, if you do not truly, follow from the covenant of Allah, it, will, not, be accepted by Allah. And we are all watching those people in media, every once in a while. That is why, they are spending their money for some dogs, hospitals, colleges, instead of taking care of their relatives, and spend it, on thousands of those homeless people sleeping on the streets. Streets. Then, the third covenant of Allah was, one should not kill, a soul. Because, that could have brought millions of offspring to this world. Just imagine, if that son of Adam, would not have killed his brother, our population on earth, could have been, twice as much by now. You have just witnessed, some new hikmah, from Allah, which no one knew about them, up to now. Allah is the only one who drop on us knowledge, and hikmah. Although, these were written, in the Arabic Quran, 1450 years ago, and I have been reading them for 30 some years so far, but these new hikmah, just dropped on me as I am writing. This is how Allah revealed to us his Arabic Quran, at the right time. Time. Here are the covenants of Allah with Bani Israel, from the Arabic Quran.
they are about 42 verses. The whole Quran, is the continuation of covenant of Allah with Bani Israel, and you may find the rest of those covenants, in, Torah, and Jil, and Psalm. And in all of them, our Creator says, follow from the religion of your father, Ibrahim. One of the covenant of Allah, with, Bani Israel, which probably was distorted in those old scriptures, is written in verses, 15 and 16 of chapter 46 of the Arabic Quran. It says, when you reach maturity, and reach the age of 40, you should say, my Lord, direct me to appreciate the blessings you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents, and to do the righteous works that please you. Let my children be righteous as well. I have repented to you, I am a submitter. And in the next verse, it says, from these, that we accept the righteous works, and overlook their sins. They have deserved paradise. This is the truthful promise, that is promised, to them. Therefore, you have up to one day before the age of 41, to repent to Allah. That means, all of your past sins will be forgiven. And, at the age of 41, you are fully responsible for your actions toward Allah's system. Up to the age of 41, you have been, like a two years old child, to Allah. I know it is very hard for you to digest this covenant, but this shows, Allah's immense love, and mercy, toward humans. You can repent to Allah any time, but not when you are dying, like when Pharaoh was drowning. He said, I believe now. And Allah said, now? It is too late now. Late now? Here is the hard part, to comprehend, by the ones, who do not understand, the system of the Almighty Creator. This means, all of those young kids being shut, on those school shootings, will go to the heaven. Together, with, that young shooter, if he was killed, or, dies before the age of 41. And they are all having fun up there, and they are, laughing at us. While loved ones, are suffering over here. All of those children, who die of hunger, in Africa, and those other poor countries, whom people did not help them, will go to heaven. All of those young kids who die in those baseless wars, will make it to the heaven. Even those young suicide bombers. All because, Allah is the loving creator, and, He is, the forgiver. Remember, life, and, death, belongs to Allah. Only those who submit to the covenant of Allah, with descendants, who would be transported by Allah, could accept these rules of Allah. As Allah said, He preferred, Bani Israel, over all the people in the world. That is why, you would find yourself in a place, that, no man has touched before. Before. Again, so called Muslims, do, not, read, the Quran and they do not, follow it, either. Yet, they only follow from three books written by human devil, besides the Quran. That is why, they are facing from so many disasters these days. Rejecting those mathematical miracles of the Quran, by so called Muslims, made the whole world of Muslims, upside down. Check the history of the Muslims ever since 1974. Also, the authorities all around the world, and their medias have been trying so hard to hide these awesome news of the millennium, that is why we have been facing much more disasters ever since 45 years ago. Just by denying the Almighty's mathematical miracle, and the worst is yet to come, this tape mostly is for the future generations. But, there might be, a few, whom Allah wants to guide them in his right path. If you decided to follow from the only religion of our Creator, first leave all of those 4,200 fake, false, and man made religions. And leave those fake Qurans, meaning those translations, because they are blocking people from receiving Allah's teachings, and Hikmah. Allah repeated, 11 times in His book, that He wants you to use your brain, and translate the Arabic Quran for yourself. Let me assure you, Allah will teach you, his Arabic Quran, regardless of your mother's tongue. 
Let me repeat it again, Allah, will, teach, you, his, Arabic, Quran, regardless of your mother's tongue. He has done it for me, all of these years, despite my learning disability, and short-term memory. He is the one, who has taught us all of these languages. And on top of that, Allah has been given me, many awesome Quranic hikmah, which no Quranic, scholar, has heard before. Why? Because, he is the Almighty, Allah, and you are not. Allah be glorified. Remember, all of these happened, when I left those fake religions, and fake translations. Allah does not call them, religion, yet, he calls them as, parties, or, al, azab. And he says, that, all of these so-called religions, are idol worshippers, and do not befriend with them. All praises to Allah, Lord of the Universes. Remember, Allah reveals the Quran into your soul, and not into your brain. That is the soul, which will be taken away from your body, and will go to another dimension. That is why, it does not have to do anything, with your short term memory, or your learning disability. Just start to learn couple of Arabic words, a day. You want to study the Quran, every single day, as those other prophets studied their books, every day, hours on end. He has made me to study his Quran, every day, for thirty years, so far. Ask the Almighty to direct you to his path. Ask him to give you, a, pure heart, and teach you, his scientifically proven Arabic Quran, based on mathematics, the exact science. And ask him to make you understand his hikmah, and bless you with hikmah. The answer to all of these questions, are, written, in the Arabic Quran, in detail. And, at the right time, Allah will reveal them to you, according to, the time, and a place, and how pure at heart, you are. Because, he is the only teacher of his book, and not me. That is why, I am not allowed, to give you, the answers, to those questions, and even if I tell you about them, you would not understand them and you will be a disbeliever, as Allah says. But, when Allah reveals them to you, it will register, and fixed, into the heart of your soul. That is how, he will bring you, out of your darkness, into his light. That is why, I am not able to take you out of darkness into Allah's light. Then, you would find yourself in a place that no man has touched before. I wish you the Almighty's guidance. Peace.